All right, we're here from the Franklin Guitar Lounge in Franklin, Tennessee. I'm here with a legend uh, in the guitar business, Nashville guitar player and uh, legendary uh, guitar slinger all over the world, Johnny Highland. Johnny, how are you doing, pal? I'm doing great, Pat. Good to see you, man. Man, I'm, I'm so glad that you're here today. Uh, I'm excited about doing this. You uh, are going to hold the distinction of being our very first uh uh, guitar slinger here. Hey and, man, and I'm honored by that, Pat. That's and, sweet. Man. And so this is a, a new endeavor for us folks and we're excited about it and we're going to talk about all things guitar. I couldn't think of a better person to do that with than Johnny Highland, brother Johnny Highland. Uh, I've known him for a, a good long time and he is definitely, in my view, one of the world's greatest premier guitar players. And speaking of premier guitar, yeah, uh, you, you're going to find <laughs> Brother Johnny uh, this this on this month's uh, issue yes, of, of premier edition. guitar, the April edition. Uh, he's being showcased in there, and I would imagine uh, that somewhere in that that article we're probably talking about uh, this new girl right here. Yes, uh, this Kiesel uh, Johnny Highland guitar. I'm dying for you to tell me about this beautiful piece of work. Pat, I'll tell you what, buddy. It's a dream come true for me. I've had so many fans throughout the years ask me to go back to a T-style guitar. You know, everybody, and you know, let's face it. When you think of Nashville, chicken-picking, country-style guitar, the first thing that comes to your mind is a Telecaster. And you yourself, on many of your videos you've done here at Franklin Guitar, you've, you've told people, you know, you've been a Tele guy for 40 years, you know. It's just the, the guitar that everybody thinks of when you think of country music. Now, granted, being a country music fan, you know, I think back to the Merle Travis days with the Gibson Super 400s. And, but yeah, I mean, all the way back from Jimmy Bryant, man, he carried the torch all the way through for us guys to, uh, to play tellies all these years. Well, as most folks know, I, uh, you know, I started off with Fender, and they had a Johnny model that didn't get released. Then joining up with Steve Vai and Favored Nations, you know, I needed a guitar that was a little more rock oriented, you know, that could allow me to play chicken picking and rock. And single claws at the time just wasn't standing up to, uh, you know, buy with two humbuckers and an Ibanez and a Floyd Rose. And so I went the PRS route at that time and then just really got missing that single coil sound. You know, I found that when I would go out with George Clinton and P-Funk or I'd go out and sit in on G3 tours with Vi and Sash and guys like that, the PRS was wonderful. But when I came back into Nashville doing sessions with Janie Fricky or Toby Keith or Hank 3, the PRS just really wasn't getting it for me. So then I moved over to the Music Man world and, of course, really loved the guys at Music Man, but they, they just really didn't want to do anything with me. So, so then I thought, well, what now? You know, what am I going to do? And my bass player, TJ Armstrong, had gone to the Winter Nam show last year, uh, 2017, and he said, he sent me this picture. He's like, wow, look at this new Kiesel guitar they just released. And it was a, a gold sparkle, looks just like my first Fender kind of thing, you know, but with no pick guard like this one. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, so I had looked around at Sirs and Andersons and all kinds of, you know, uh, Telecasters, even Charles Whitfield, you know, and, and guys like that, because Forrest Lee Jr., you know, even, I'm a big fan of what he does. But at the same time, I still needed a guitar I could rock out on. And to be honest, Pat, you and I have had this talk many, many times, man, of how most T-style guitars have gone through the roof price-wise. And that yes. was really bothering me because, well, let's face it, Pat, you've known me for years, buddy. I've never been made of money, you know. So it would have been very hard for me to go out. So and you're very players. similar to most guitar players. Yeah, working, yeah, man. Working I mean, players, right. I that's right. It. And so really it was hard for me to ethically go out as a Christian man and try to do, you know, clinics for these companies making people buy a $3,000 guitar when I myself couldn't afford to buy one. So just didn't make much sense, you know. Right. So anyway, uh, my management contacted Jeff Kiesel, and next thing I knew, man, we were, I was on my way down to do a True Fire video, my newest course, which is uh, Johnny Highland's 10-gallon guitar intros, outros, and turnarounds. And oh, I told Jeff, I said, buddy, I don't even want to take a music, man. I said, and he, so in four days, he built this guitar for me. Wow. And I'm going to tell you, buddy, it's one of my favorite T-style guitars I've ever put in my hands. It's, it's just so fun to play. And, uh, you know, of course, it's got, you know, everyone knows that knows me knows I've played Electric City pickups for years. So it's got my six-year singles. Yep, Brother Billy McGillop. 
So it's got my uh, six shooter singles in here from Electric City Pickups. And uh, of course, Jeff and those guys even were able to, to cop my, my harness, you know, switching style. Right. And so basically, Pat, with the guitar, it's a swamp ash body, as you can probably see. And it's what they call a raw tone finish. So the finish is really, really light. Um, and you can see all the grain and you can feel all of the grain, which is really, really cool, you know. Um, and that really, that was a plus for me. I don't, I don't like a, a guitar with a lot of lacquer or anything that's going to take away from the tone. So then when they put my pickups and my switching in, you know, the bridge pickup, you know, gives you that straight up good raw telly. <laughs> Tally tone, and then of course the second position gives you more of the strat. Then the third position is like the middle tally, you know, so it gives you. It gives you like that middle tally tone, you know, which is great. But here's where mine differs. In the fourth position, you have more of a strat style tone. So, so if you're playing like real funky, it's got that real clacky strat tone in the middle position, right? Right. But in mine, it's the fourth position. And then, of course, you go to the neck pickup where you have a nice... Tone One of the th chest. things that I wanted to say, uh, you, you just made me think of this. I have uh, I've seen a few um, videos with Johnny uh, in this new guitar, and uh, one of the things that just now occurred to me as I hear him play, the uh, what you guys are probably hearing on your end, uh, we're hoping to have some pretty good audio that we capture today, but the what's coming through the camera does not do this thing justice uh, through what I'm hearing through this deluxe reverb here right, in, right. In, in this room. Uh, the, the, it has a totally different character than I was hearing on yes. some of the previous oh, sure. uh, stuff. So it's just an incredible sounding guitar. Well now Pat, I know we're live buddy and everyone's watching this. Right. I want you to put this on a minute. <laughs> because truthfully... Well, I'll twist my arm. <laughs> no, truthfully, I think I'm stuck on my stand down here. But truthfully Pat, what I want you to feel in this is I want people to, I want you to just put your hands on it and feel it. It's, it, I can tell you right now, it feels like a, a chicken leg. No, no, I'm kidding. Ah. It feels like, it feels silky. It's got a silky feel to it. And the, 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 the lightness of this guitar, I feel like it wants to fly away with me. It, well, you know. actually, Pat, I'm not going to lie. I wanted, you to feel, I wanted you to feel the guitar and play it a bit. But I've actually been having right hand troubles a little bit. I've got a, like a trigger finger thing going on in my thumb. That's why I'm trying to play with a thumb pick. But, right. But, of course, I also had to show off the shirt I'm wearing today. <laughs> Franklin guitar shirt, you know. Because, uh, you know, Brother Pat's been family to me for quite some time. But I've been so excited about this new guitar that he was one of the first people I called. And I said, Pat, you just have to see this guitar. And so this is actually Pat's first time checking it out, too. It's it's gorgeous. I wish that you could see the detail uh, on this neck. Uh, it's it's The frets are exquisite on it. Uh, it just has a, a lush feel to it. And uh, I love the neck profile. Well, and Pat, actually, buddy, while you're holding it, I'll explain a little bit. Okay. That it's a hip shot hardtail bridge. And what I love about that is the saddles are rounded on the back. So when you're chicken picking, man, you don't cut your hand like you did on the old fender, right. you know. So it's very, very comfortable to put in your hands. And look at the heel on the back. It's yeah. actually look how it's look how it moves up to the neck on the on the neck profile. That's that is very very short. So you yeah. can if you like to play up the neck higher and get those steel guitar bends and stuff, the heel is actually shaved down, folks, where it's angled. Now are these uh, inserts in here? And where no, they're, they're no. Bolts, just, man, it, it it it's it's beautiful. I mean, I mean, basically, Jeff said they took the blockiness out and they just, you know, bolted the neck on like a normal, you know, guitar. But at the same time, they shaved the heel at an angle to where you can really have great access. I don't know if uh, we'll try to get this in. The, the see the detail of the the neck right there uh, is just incredible. 
Um, and the frets, tell us about the, the radius and the frets. Yeah, so when you get up the fretboard, man, it's a, it's a, a 10 inch radius, which I really, really love. And of course, the neck is the, is the Kiesel thinner neck profile, which I love. Um, I have steak fries for fingers, so it's really important to me to have a neck that feels very comfortable. Um, but the frets are actually medium jumbo, and they're uh, stainless steel. And i got to say, guys, most people say, oh, Johnny, you know, you don't want to play stainless steel, do you? You know, they put divots in your strings, and they just don't feel good. i got to be honest with you all. The, the frets feel so, so good on this guitar. They're so smooth. And so when you make a natural bend... It's smoother. It feels very so silky. So I have played this guitar, the guts out of this guitar since I've had it, you know, which has been three or four months now. And I have never, I mean, I've not even had to really clean these frets. I mean, they just feel so good and smooth. But to be honest with you guys, too, the thing that's so great about a Kiesel is this is actually a Graftec Tusk Nut. Uh, and the headstock, you know, there were people that said, oh man, the headstock looks too rock and roll for that guitar. But guys, the beautiful thing for me is I didn't want to create something that had that Fender look. You know, we're trying to do a modern take on a classic, but at the same time, give it some modern appeal, you know. So, I really love this headstock. And, uh, of course, it's got Kiesel lock and tuners, which is obviously different than a lot of tellies out there. 19 to 1 ratio, so they're really great. And I love the way the locking tuners are, are made, too. They have a nice big wheel on them, so it's a little easier to get to, um, which is really great. I don't know if you guys can get a close-up on those, but... That neck, that's... Now, I, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it th seems like I saw somewhere, that, that's not roasty. No, it's color-treated. Right. Um, now, I will tell you, Jeff and the Kiesel boys actually do kiln-dry their wood, and then it's heat treated. So essentially, you know, the neck is as stable as it, as it can possibly be. Plus, there's a dual action truss rod in here. And the thing that makes Kiesel so amazing in what they build are, is that there are two carbon fiber rods that run up each side of the truss rod. So the dual action truss rod alone acts as a neck stabilizer, you know, as you know. But the carbon fiber rods, the way Jeff was talking about it is like if you had a tree, you know, and then you, you know, you're... Uh, planting a tree and of course to get it in you have the two ropes that hold it up and balance right. it so he said those that's what those carbon fiber rods do they stabilize so now guys this is just a bird's eye maple neck that's been color treated to look burnt because Jeff just doesn't prefer the sound or the the stability of a neck that's been over burned so he color treats these necks to look like this and to be honest with you on my second prototype where I actually move the knobs up a little bit with a switch underneath we actually decided to go with a just a regular bird's eye maple neck so that the inlays pop out a little bit more for me. And Jeff's actually getting me to try walnut for the back of the neck and the headstock on this next one. So actually pretty excited about that, guys. But and we, we've got a we've got a few more that we want to show off here in the Oh, morning. absolutely, man, absolutely. But what I wanted to say because I always forget these things, but uh, if. Right now, if somebody wants to learn about Kiesel guitars, or maybe somebody wants to even purchase uh, yes. one of these uh, based on your recommendation alone, mm -hmm. uh, what, so what's the process for that? Guys, it's the easiest thing in the world, really. I mean, now you can order this exact guitar from Kiesel right now. It's, it's the Kiesel Solo. Mm -hmm. um, my Johnny model's obviously not out yet. We're working pretty hard on that, but we haven't set a date and we haven't set a price. Mm -hmm. But you can order this same exact guitar uh, and Jeff will tell you, if you go to electriccitypickups.com, you can order my six-shooter singles, send them to Jeff, and he'll put them in a solo for you. So uh, all you have to do to do that is call 858-GUITARS, talk to Jeff's guys, tell them you want an exact solo like mine. It's scarlet red with a color-treated, uh, to look baked, you know, bird's eye maple neck, and tell them you're going to send in some ECP, Johnny Highland six-shooter singles, and Jeff will build it for you. Now, here's the thing, guys. You can also go on their website, kieselguitars.com. They actually have a page on their website called Guitars in Stock. So if you don't want to have to wait for a custom build, which, you know, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, whatever it takes them to do. And, I mean, of course, they've had a lot of builds to do since the NAMM show. Um, so if you don't want to wait for a build, you can go on their Guitars in Stock page, 
You never know. You might find the guitar of your dreams already on that page. You call 858-GUITARS and buy it right on the spot. That's that's simple enough. Yeah. Uh, one more time on the on the phone number. The phone number is 858-GUITARS. And I always forget this, Johnny. I'm, I'm horrible about doing this for, for us here, but for, for you as well, before I forget, mm -hmm. to, to find out about Johnny Highland. What's the oh, well, thing? man, you need to go to johnnyhighland.net. That's the place to get anything you want to know about me. I just don't tell you my underwear size. The, You'll have the, to catch that on a Facebook Live with me some night. And we're going to talk about some things like that. I mean, oh, there's so many things that, that I want to get to. We've got such a, a limited amount of time, but uh, you and I have, have had uh, many lengthy conversations. Oh, yes, we have, my friend. Uh, uh, one of the things that, uh, now I believe this is on, uh, and, and I, I briefly, I'm, I'm doing this off the, the, the tip of my brain, but... Uh, so Standing Strong mm -hmm. is the is the current record. It's yes, new, it is. New record. And on Standing Strong, uh, it, I believe, and I could be mistaken, so forgive me if I am, but I think I'm right. On Standing Strong, one of my favorite, uh, we had this conversation, like one of my favorite songs uh, was Oh Happy Day. Is that on? That's not on this one. That's on the other No, actually, actually, this year I'm going to put out a new gospel record. And it's going to be Johnny Highland and Friends. So, Pat, I'd love to have you come play on one of those. Gospel well, tracks. you know, I was talking to Johnny the other day. I had heard him, uh, I think, at Acme Feed and Seed, uh, and he was doing uh, Old Happy Day, and that was a, a song that that was very, you know, prominent in my memory growing up and, and even learning guitars and uh, learning to play it on guitar. And I told Johnny, I said, why aren't you singing that song? That, that's uh, just a... Oh, it's so funny when you asked that. And Johnny said, well, I can't. He said, I can't get the band to, to do the old happy day part, you know. So, well, I said, look, I got, a, I got an instrumental <laughs> band, man. That, you know, they can sing, but they just, when you got a, you know, a tenor singing lead, they're like, I can't go that high, man. You know, so they're kind of making fun of me, if you will. But but it's, it's so I've heard, I mean, I've heard sort of some of the stuff that, that uh, may be on that record. So I apologize about the, the, the mix up. Um, but the gospel thing is, uh, I, I have a feeling that's going to be probably one of the, the best things that you've ever done in your life. Well, you know, honestly, Pat, I want everybody to know we've started adding some of the songs to the show. So if you come down to At Me Feed and Seed on the first Wednesday of every month, you can catch us, the Johnny Highland Man, play down there from 8 to 10 uh, on that first Wednesday of every month. And you get to hear some of the new gospel stuff we're going to add to the new album. We're just... Test driving some of it, seeing how the folks like it, and uh, of course I know Pat saw the video of me doing it the last time, and uh, I loved it. First thing you did was just call me up and go, "Why aren't you singing that song, boy?" <laughs> I, but, yeah, I mean it. It sounded wonderful, but I know that Johnny, uh, you know, from a vocal perspective, could could crush that too. Oh man, and, well you know I love gospel music, and of course we'll we'll get into that topic in a moment, Pat. You know, folks, one of the one of the main things about Pat and I's relationship is we've we worked in his studio many years, you know, with him calling me to come in and do sessions and stuff. And, and he's always been a fan of my plan and a big yeah. supporter of my career, which I've been really grateful for. And, and uh, before the Kiesel guitar thing, I was really helping Pat push guitars out here when you were doing retail. Amen. Yep. But then again, his repair business just picked up so crazily. It was just like, man. So a lot of guys I would talk to in Nashville, they'd say, oh, man, I'm having trouble. And I'm like... You know, can't get into Joe Glazer. I'm like, well, go out to Franklin Guitar, man. See my buddy Pat. I'll hook you up. So, yeah, the, the repair side of your business really kind of took over. It has. Uh, we, we have been, uh, and, and again, I think that goes back to, to uh, the, the faith thing. Uh, we took a huge leap of faith. Uh, you know, I, I had a pastor, uh, Ted Denny, if you're, you're listening, he, he told me one time, he said, Pat, you have a great faith or a little faith? Uh, and, uh, you know, this whole true. repair thing uh, has just blown up for us. Uh, people have been extremely kind to us. Uh, they, uh, Greg Ellis, uh, you can't see, he's sitting in the back back there. Uh, my brother, he, he takes care of, of things for me here. Uh, just an Absolutely. excellent uh, guitar uh, tech in his own right. And uh, we, we've just got a lot of exciting things. Uh, Instagram, because uh, I forget these, so I'm, I'm, I, forgive me for this shameless plugging, but uh, uh, NashvilleGuitarRepair.net is where you can find us, and on Instagram, uh, Nashville Guitar Repair, Franklin Guitar, uh, Franklin Guitar and Repair. Uh, you can call us anything, just don't call us late for supper. <laughs> uh, and uh, 
we're we're here to take care of all your stringed instrument needs and uh we're going to start doing uh, you know you may have heard we're going to start building some now have you uh, changed the name of the shop no we have always kind of been known uh also as as the nashville repair guys so right. we we sort of uh have a little bit of both going on but so you've added it to the name so to speak exactly yeah. just a part of the brand uh but 2004 uh, Franklin Guitar was established. We've been here a long, long time. Um, the repair business has grown and grown and grown. Thank you uh, for that. And uh, we get to, to hang out and uh, repair injured guitars and talk to cool people uh, like Johnny Highland, who has grace, graciously uh, agreed to come in and do this very first show. Uh, we've been told over and over again that the guitar uh, folks, the guitar nerds, if you are, I'm, yeah. I'm one. Oh, I'm definitely one. Uh, you know, uh, that they love the content uh, of the stuff that we put up, of, of how we go about, you know, repairing guitars. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we talk about pickups. We talk about pedal well, I watch all your videos, Pat. Yeah? I do. I'm a fan, man. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. I, I, I can't tell you. I, don't, I won't go too deeply into... Uh, the whole thing, but I will tell you, I'm very, very excited and pleased that Johnny uh, is playing Kiesel guitars now. It seems like to me that it's a perfect fit. Uh, the guitar, uh, this one that he's playing right now, uh, just sounds incredible. Tell us, uh, tell us about this girl. Oh man, well with pleasure, buddy. I uh, honestly, Pat, I Jeff Kiesel was so gracious, man, in allowing me to. When I went out to the factory the first time to, to check it out and meet everybody, uh, he brought out a rack of guitars. And, and I was telling him when I first started you know, my relationship with the solo, I said, dude, I need a rocker guitar. And he said, so he sent me an Aries that I found on the Guitars of Stock page. <clears throat> but to be honest with you, when I went out to the factory, I found another one that I loved just as much, if not more. And so I ended up bringing that home. But the one that Pat is holding was one that was on the rack of guitars that Jeff had brought out for me to check out. I had such a ball playing that guitar that he goes, I think you need to take that one home with you. And I'll tell you guys, the story behind this guitar um, is that it's what I really wished or any tele player would wish that Gibson had it done years ago. But they didn't do it, and so Jeff did. And what a blessing it is. Essentially, for a guy that has played a tele all his life, to jump into a Les Paul, the whole, the whole uh, uh, neck is shorter. It's a different feeling neck. And, of course, there's four knobs. There's two volumes and two tones. And so I was like, man, I wish Gibson would make a guitar that was master volume, master tone, and with like a 25 to 25 and a half inch scale neck, you know. Um, and so, essentially, we know that Gibson never really had done that, but Jeff jumped all over it, and I had no clue. So when I grabbed that guitar, it felt so amazing. Plus, it's got a push-pull pot and a tone pot where you can split the coils and get stratty tones out of that guitar. So, so to be honest with you, Pat, man, I'm having trouble with this right hand, buddy. I'll tell you what. This, uh, one, th one of the things I'm noticing about this, uh, you know, it, the, the, the 3D uh, style top, but the top is even, uh, it's almost like it's, it's got a beautiful carved effect. Plug it. that girl in and check it out for and, a minute, because uh, you're going to laugh when you play this thing. I mean, it's, it's just... It's amazing, man. It truly is. Oh, I'm sorry. I got the tuner on. You don't need to tune it, though. Tuning's overrated. <laughs> It's incredible. Pat. I'm, I'm really trying. Is. I'm I'm trying my best. I'm going to refrain from saying anything here about Gibson right now. Oh, I know, but we, we all know the story, unfortunately. But uh, I will say, so I'll say it differently. If uh, my my initial impression of this gorgeous guitar right here, if you are, um, 
if you're studying a, uh, a Les Paul right now, uh, this this may be a guitar to definitely uh, put on your radar because it's a. I'll hand it over here to Johnny in a minute when he gets settled in. Yeah, and, man. And we'll uh, let him shred. Find a little home for my for my girl to sit there. Yeah, we'll let him shred on it for a minute. But this is another. I mean, it's a testament to to what uh, Jeff is building. Oh there. man, it's it's absolutely incredible. But when I first tried this guitar, I couldn't get over. You know, like even with the rock tones, man. It's you know. <laughs> model of the stock solo, I mm -hmm. think is somewhere around ten ninety nine. Okay. Wow. Eleven hundred bucks, twelve hundred, depending on what you want. A lot of guitar for, for the bus. Oh tons, uh, buddy. And even at the at with the Johnny model that we're talking about. Now granted, like I said folks, I call it a Johnny model because I'm excited to be with Kiesel. We don't know really where it's going. Jeff just allowed me to have fun and see where it goes and uh so you know the Johnny model is certainly something I'm dreaming of and I know Kiesel is uh very excited to entertain my, you know, my recommendations and thoughts on changing things and trying new things. And, uh, but I'm also learning a lot from Jeff Kiesel too on wood choice. Right. And, you know, I never knew a five piece neck had so much more stability, that kind of stuff, you know. And so it's been amazing for me to, to learn just as much from Jeff as it is admiring, uh, the passion that they have in their, and the quality of their builds, you know, because this guitar is mahogany. I mean, it's... Now, in the series, uh, what, so what is, is, what is this one? What is it called? This one is actually the California Single Cut. Okay. So it's a... Uh, and what is that finish? Do you, know? I, you know, I honestly it's don't beautiful. know. It's beautiful. But Jeff knows my favorite color is red. Yes. So he has, a, he has a red strip around the outer. So it looks like a charcoal guitar until you get up on it or move right. it in the light. And you can see the red on the outside of the... The rim of the charcoal. Also, uh, locking tuners. Locking and... tuners, yes, and uh, and of course, you know, he fixed the tuning stability issue. You know, the headstock is shaped different, so the G string and B string on any Les Paul or SG always have have had tuning issues. Especially, you know, I've got an R7 and I've got an SG I bought from you, Pat, and I love them. They're great Thelma guitars. Lou, yeah, Thelma Lou, yeah. <laughs> but but to be honest with you, I mean, I've never I have played blues on this thing and done sessions on it really wound this guitar up and it just i haven't knocked it out of tune yet so it's just it's stabilized so well and honestly guys this uh there are two guitars just like this one uh this same model the california single cut on kieselguitars.com with their uh, guitars and stock page so guys they're i mean the price tags on these guitars are unbeatable see so it's not just the fact that the guitars are amazing it's the fact that Jeff is selling direct to the customer. There's no middleman, and that means that Jeff can give you the absolute best price he possibly can. They, so, they, they feel and play uh, just incredible. Um, Brother Jacob, how are we doing on time? We doing? Uh, we we lose? Kit? Okay. All right. I've actually got one more guitar I got to show you. We're gonna we're gonna let's let's do that right now. Sure. Uh, my gosh, what a beauty! This thing, Pat, is the one I told you that. I had one sent to me before, and when I saw that one, I fell in love with it so much. So, actually, I'm going to hand this guitar to one of you boys. Pat can grab it there. This guitar is actually called the Kiesel Aries, and 
This guitar, before I even throw it over my head, I just got to tell you a little bit about it. This guitar was built by Jeff Kiesel himself, and so it's a Jeff Kiesel hand-selected chevron top. So chevron means that it's angled. You know, the, the plain maple is angled, so they call it a chevron top. The body, uh, it has a nice bevel here, and the, the bevel and the back of the body are Hawaiian koa. So you can see the back of this thing is just beautiful. Gosh, it is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And of course, there's that same heel. Now look at the back of the neck, guys. It's it's a five-piece walnut and maple. So it's quite amazing. And then the front of the guitar, the front of the neck, is actually uh, zebra wood. Now, guys, I had no idea the zebra wood would make a cool fretboard. But as you can see, this is pretty breathtaking. Um, and then, of course, they did the matching headstock. Graf, uh, Tech nut. Uh, now this is actually a Kiesel hip shot trim. So Kiesel and hip shot built this trim together. And it is just absolutely beautiful. And here's the funny thing, Pat. Here you go again, buddy. I want you to put this guitar in your hand for a moment and plug her in because I want to show you some of the features while you, while you check it out. The so, one. Yeah, the one closest to the strap button. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the funny thing about this guitar. Um, if this switch is, yep, you're all the way, so you should be good. Do you have anything? Oh, the tuner's on again. Dog bite. Alright, here you go. inlays in that fretboard. Oh, so God. if we had a way to walk outside and the sun was shining, you could walk out there for li literally 20 seconds, walk back in, and every one of these inlays lights up bright blue. Wow. So if you got if you start your show on a dark stage or anything like that, it's pretty incredible because the, uh, the neck will light up. So wow. So they thought of the blind guy when they made this guitar, for <laughs> sure, you know. But I, I really, I was excited, Pat, for you to hear that that acoustic pickup, you know? Man, that is 
but what a what an awesome offering right now from Diesel. And it's dude, you'd think looking at this guitar, total heavy metal. Now, granted, you can play heavy metal on this guitar. The magnetic pickups are the Diesel lithium pickups, and yes, there are plenty of guys that are out on the road just. You know, beating these things to death playing heavy metal every night. So many things that uh, I'm impressed by. Uh, I've got to tell you, uh, from being a longtime player, uh, the fret work um, seems incredible to it me. Is, the man. playability of the guitars in general just uh, they they uh, they have that modern flair to them, but at the same time they have a, a played in. Uh, it's kind of like an old pair of Levi's. I mean, yeah, they, man. They, they really and as far as the aesthetic on them. It's just oh, they're incredible. Stunning. Uh, they're stunning. I and I must say, Pat, I I am so thrilled, guys. Not only with the fact that Kiesel's making fantastic guitars. If you order a guitar from Kiesel, the minute you get it in your hand, you'll go, "Oh my gosh, why have I never ordered a Kiesel before?" Um, but at the same time, it's a wonderful family. They are a Christian family. Great, some of the greatest people you'd ever want to meet. Their passion in building guitars is second to none. And frankly, I feel like I have my guitar home. So. You've been blessed in your repair department, buddy, and I've yeah. been blessed to be with a guitar home I've always wanted. So, so you, you mentioned the, 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 that the, there's some Christian folks over there. Just briefly, yes. uh, you know, I, I told you I was uh, going to probably reach out and talk to you about this. Uh, I've known this uh, for, with Johnny for, for a long time. Uh, Johnny uh, is a Christian, uh, as am I, and uh, uh, tell me how you feel like uh, God is working in your life right now. Well, I'll say this, folks. Anybody that knows me in Nashville knows that I have always, since the day I moved to Nashville, told people my gift comes from God in the first place. Amen. And I wouldn't even be here in Nashville if it weren't for him. Because, frankly, for a boy legally blind that was very dependent on his parents or his family to always you know, guide and watch over him all through my school years uh, and go three years at the University of Southern Maine, for me to just say, uh, hey, Mom and Dad, I'm moving to Nashville. They're like, excuse me, come again, you know. But it was a lot of prayer. It was a lot of uh, soul searching for myself, but then having enough faith and trust in God to say, Lord, if this is where you're opening my path and, and this is where you want me to go, I will, I'll follow. And to be honest with you, since day one in Nashville, God has, God has just opened the path for me. Now, sure, that doesn't mean just because you have massive faith in God and love for God that you're not going to go through bad times. Things happen. You know, I've had so many different managers, and I've been taken for rides numerous times, taken advantage of in this business. But at the same time, the good Lord has shown me over the years that their learning experience, their lessons learned, so to speak. So you don't look at those uh, things as failures. You look at those as, uh, you know, learning experiences that help you mm -hmm. grow, you know. And so what that's done for me, and thanks to great friends like Rick and Justin Bowman who up a lot, you know, write a lot of songs on Standing Strong. They're sitting here in the studio with us. But, uh, I mean, when I lost my mom and dad and went through, I lost 14 family members in a year and a half. Wow. And, man, I was crippled. I felt like, you know, the old devil was just pushing me into the ground and stomping his feet all over me. But it was great people like Rick and Justin and you and, and you know, my sweet darling Kimmy girl, my, my lovely wife. I married Kimmy. her and, Love you, sweet girl. But, you know, it was all of those great folks that pulled me up out of that trench, if you will. And, of course, uh, shoved the Bible in front of my face and said, you know, son, don't, don't let that, that thing collect dust. And Ricky Bowman said that to me. So the fact is I never have now, Pat. I've actually been studying the Word for a long time. And, uh, of course, that'll be an ongoing process for the rest of my life. But, but honestly, God has led the whole way for me. He's... he's uh, He's at the forefront of my everyday life, and uh, people say, well, how many times do you pray a day? All day, every day. Well, so he, I'm so thankful. Amen. He was very generous uh, in the gift that he gave to you. Oh, man. Uh, and yeah. I know that uh, you don't take that lightly. I've, no, seen, I've seen this man. Um, he, he is uh, such an ambassador for the guitar community uh, in general. I've seen how he... Uh, has reacted and, and engaged uh, with younger players that, that are up and coming, and uh, he's he, he will take the time to uh, spend with these young people uh, to to uh, answer the many many questions that we all have uh, as we're trying to evolve as as guitar players. Uh, we need the the, the Johnny Highland uh, types 
in this industry, in this uh, community that we're all in. Uh, we've got uh, so many great uh, players and builders and uh, you know artists, performers uh, around, and and uh, and I, I I'm blessed in my job that I get to spend so much time uh, you know hanging out with these people and. You know, hopefully, if I, you know, some of Johnny will uh, rub off. I've, I've played his guitars now today, <laughs> so I, you know, maybe I, I've got something going. Uh, this is our first show, and and it couldn't have been uh, a, a more of a blessing uh, than to have this this fella uh, right here. Uh, well, Pat, thank you, brother, and I, man, thank you for letting me show off some new keys of guitars. I, I really want people in Nashville to get hip to these great folks, man, and these guitars are sensational. So. So the record is, uh, the current record is Standing Strong. Yes. Uh, and I'm sure that you could probably find that on johnnyhighland.net. Yes, you can. My new uh, True Fire video as well. Pick that up. If you want to learn some good old country chicken picking and even some bro country with an Aries. Still, <laughs> I, I, and still doing, I, I, I think that uh, for the lucky ones who, who are able to uh, work into his busy schedule, I think there's some uh, Skype lessons. And, oh yeah, and I things do Skype like that. and FaceTime and um, and and what a and, and you and uh, tell us uh, quickly. I want to talk about uh, uh, is it Guitar Mania? Uh, yes, yes. Every Monday night, folks, at eight p.m. Central Standard Time, you can hear myself and my my manager, Mr. John Herring. We do a, a show on Renegade Radio. So if you go to Renegade Radio Nashville uh, dot com and uh, click the play button every Monday night. You can hear us on there doing a show called Guitar Mania with Johnny Highland. And guys, we play everything from old Jimmy Bryant and Speedy West stuff all the way up through to Steve Vai and Alan Holsworth and, and even Rush, you know, the Winery wow. Dogs, Adrenaline Mob. We play everything. So anything guitar, any style, any genre, it doesn't matter. And then, but uh, we're uh, trying uh, to keep guitar alive these days. Amen, and you we know. need to do that. And again, the uh, um, Acme Feed and Seed. Every, uh, the first Wednesday of every month from 8 to 10. So come on out and see us, folks. We man, if, if you're a guitar player or even if you just love guitar, love music in general, uh, and you're in Nashville, Acme Feed and Seed, check, check Johnny out. Uh, uh, it's, it's an amazing experience, and uh, I want to have him uh, play us out here and just shred a little bit. Well, Pat, minute. i got a question. You yes, got a flat top behind you. Is that yeah. the team? I, well, it, it may possibly be in tune. I don't know. Uh, pretty governmental, yeah. Well, why don't you sing one and let me pick with you, man? It'd be fun. All right. Well, I got a pick? I have a platform. <laughs> I always have a pick. Everybody's right? reaching in their pockets. This is a... There you go, buddy. All right, all right. Here's I think that's a Johnny Highland V pick right there.
Johnny Highland. Y'all, thank you so much for tuning in uh, from the Franklin Guitar Lounge. This is episode number one, and uh, we, we couldn't have picked a better uh, fella to do it with. Oh, thanks, uh, Big things coming his way. Y'all check out these wonderful, incredible Kiesel guitars. Uh, man, we've got, we've got so much uh, coming up, and, and we're, we're so glad that you tuned in. Uh, again, johnnyhighland.net, uh, you'll learn about some pretty incredible stuff about this man at Premier Guitar yeah, Magazine. Yeah, the new Premier Guitar, yeah. Uh, lots of, lots of, I imagine that's going to be a cool article too, so y'all go in uh, uh, the Barnes & Noble or, or wherever you can find Premier and uh, pick those uh, magazines up. We'll let you know we've got uh, our next episode will be uh, with Brother Gary Talley uh, from the Box Tops. Uh, and he's going to be in here talking about some, telling us some old war stories, old road stories, and talking about his rig and what he's playing these days. Uh, and we'll announce that soon coming up. Thank you so much. God bless you, Johnny. What do you want to tell these folks? Uh, hey, Pat, you know what, buddy? You bragged on me this whole episode. So, actually, folks, if you live in the Nashville area or Franklin, Tennessee, and you have a guitar that needs some love, I don't care if it's as simple as a setup or an intonation setup or anything like that. Or if you snap the neck on your guitar or your bridge is lifting, no matter what the problem is, don't fret about it. Just bring it here to don't Brother Don't fret Pat. about That's it. That's right. Don't fret about it. <laughs> and, of course, uh, you might even be able to get a cool Franklin guitar shirt like mine. So. Amen. God so, bless uh, you all. God bless you all. We'll see you next time around. Thanks for tuning in. Happy picking to you. Yes, sir.